Hi, this is Samir Gupta, fellow at the University of South Florida, reporting for Fit On The Go News Blog. I'm standing with Dr. Christopher Liu, electrophysiologist at the Cornell Medical Center in New York. Dr. Liu, what are some of the career advice you would like to give fellows in training who are planning a career in electrophysiology? Electrophysiology is a very in exciting field. Um, as you know, our uh, procedures and treatment options for patients with arrhythmias has really exploded in the past 10 years. And um, this has generally uh, uh, con uh, coincided with the fact that many more people are going into the field of electrophysiology. As you know, um, several years ago, um, the job market for electrophysiologists was really booming and excellent. Um, you know, in the recent years, the, the many of the jobs have become filled, and so the job market has become uh, more challenging to work with. Um, and I know that this has been a, a obviously a very uh, serious consideration for fellows who are considering careers in electrophysiology. Um, I think certainly it's going to be uh, in the coming years we're going to reach some sort of um, some sort of equilibrium in terms of how many electrophysiologists we need, um, and obviously that's also going to be a dynamic factor. So, um, so for example, uh, as treatments for AFib and AFib ablations and AFib therapies that are delivered by electrophysiologists uh, become more generalizable, as the procedures become easier to do, as more patients are uh, candidates for, for ablation procedures, um, uh, I, I believe that um, uh, sort of electrophysiology training and electrophysiology practice is going to be a more generalizable type of practice. So I think, I think that's a consideration to uh, to keep in mind. Uh, certainly. Um, the types of procedures that we do as electrophysiologists is also going to change. So with the advent of, for example, um, uh, left atrial appendage closure devices, or these are procedures potentially that we would take on and be able to do. So, um, so I think that those are things that, um, that fellows who are training right now should keep in mind. Uh, I'm always a person and I believe in giving fellows advice in terms of believing in doing things that they feel interested in doing because as, you, as long as you are passionate and excited about what you do at work, you're always going to be successful and, and you're going to ultimately be happy. It's a matter of finding the right fit in terms of where you're going to work, exactly what type of work you're going to do and that sort of thing, but uh, I think that's a good place to start. Thank you, Dr. Liu. This is Samir Gupta from the University of South Florida reporting for Fit On The Go News Blog. Stay tuned for more information and please visit www.cardiosource.org forward slash fit.